breakwater is Spain, that breakwater is France, and we're somewhere on the uh, border here. And where are we going to stay tonight? We're going to stay in Spain, marina just this side. the best pile of my life. Absolutely amazing. Time for bed and early tomorrow morning we're heading back north. Well it's 74 miles until the entry to the estuary where Arcachon is and where we're going to refuel. And the, the incredible thing about the coast is it is literally a straight line. It couldn't be straighter, drawn with a ruler. So we just put in our waypoint, 70 odd miles away, and ride in a straight line. Uh, tiniest, tiniest little swell. Hope it doesn't make it too lumpy. Um, but otherwise it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. Well, a bit of deja vu, hopefully for the only time on the trip, uh, leaving the same harbour twice early morning. We had planned to go all the way up the coast to the Gironde yesterday, but uh, in the end the seas were picking up and I'm glad we came in here. It was blowing a force four from the north, maybe five, touching five, and we'd have been just beating into every single wave all the way up. So uh, it was a good move. It's a force two today. We're heading out there and hoping for a smooth ride up the next 70 miles up to the Gironde. We had a great run up this morning from Arcachon. Perfect conditions, straight line it along the coast, past the mouth of the Gironde. We've just gone past the north northwest tip of the Ile d'Oleron, and now we're going round the uh, southeast corner of the Ile de Ray. Have to go under the bridge again, which we went under on the way down. Probably about another half hour or so, and then we're going to pull into the harbour of St. Martin, where we're hoping to stay and spend the rest of the day. So we've had about five hours at sea in great conditions. It's still only midday. Rest of the day to enjoy. Well, we just arrived and this looks like it was a great core. It's described in the pilot book as uh, one of the prettiest harbours on the west coast of France. And it's certainly lived up to its name. Absolutely beautiful. It's tidal in here. We've got a lock gate. It opens at about half tide, but uh, that's no problem. It opens about half ten in the morning. It looks like a gorgeous village and a great island. So what we're going to do is take the afternoon now, rent bikes, go cycling and have a look around a bit. Looking around this picturesque harbour, it's hard to believe that thousands of convicts were once shipped from the infamous prison here to penal settlements in French Guyana, including Devil's Island, from where very few ever returned. 